This is the winner of our strong bitter category. This encompasses beers in the fives, 5% 5 to 5.9. This one's at the bottom of that strength range, it's 5%. It's from Kirkstall Brewery in Leeds and it's called Dissolution IPA. Now it's classed as an IPA, which means India Pale Ale. Very, very much not just a revived style of beer, but a reinvented style of beer. Um, give it a give it a sniff. Oh, I'd love to. Wow, now that's got an incredible aroma of kind of grapefruit and tropical fruit, just what you would expect from a modern IPA. Yeah, I think you have to bear in mind that the reinvention of IPA can't entirely be put down to the British market. This has come from American craft brewers who have uh, sort of taken India Pale Ale uh, and married the style with their own hop varieties, which give these citrus and tropical fruit notes and they packed the hops into their beers. They've even competed to make, I can make it more bitter than you can. Um, British brewers, innovative British brewers have embraced the style, have taken the American hops as well, and have created beers like this one. Taste it. I can't wait. I thought you would never <laughs> ask me to taste it. Oh, I just want to smell it again because it just smells so, so fruity and wonderful. That's lip smackingly hoppy, and that's I, such a depth of flavour. There's marmalade characters coming through in there. It's I not think, all as bitterness, well. is it? No, it's not. It's, it's a nice balance. You get that. It is a. It is a very, very high bitter beer. And bear in mind why India Pale Ale was invented, why it was created by British brewers. The journey to colonial India took you round the Cape at the bottom of Africa, uh, and beer was arriving sour and undrinkable for the. Uh, for the Raj, for the British colonials to drink. Uh, and the idea was to make beer stronger because alcohol is a preservative and to use extra hops because hops are a preservative. And thus doing, the beer successfully made the journey to India and glory of glories, it was still drinkable when it got there. Uh, and from this, this is sort of where the origins of bitter as a homegrown, uh, as a home product uh, stem from. Uh, without quite the same level of hops, without the same level of alcohol. Uh, I have to confess, I rounded off my evening last night with a pint of this. It was a lovely way of finishing an evening at the Great British Beer Festival. Well, it's a beautiful beer and I think a beautiful colour as well, just a glowing golden delight and a nice marriage of those powerful hops, but also with some nice malt characters coming through in the aftertaste. It's, it's craftsmanship, isn't it? It is. At its very best. It is.